and today I'm going to be doing Beyond Positive Sinking. Like and subscribe. Affirmation plus imagery plus emotion equals success. The key to successful imagery is not to, is to put as much emotion into the picture as possible. Arouse a deep inner desire, be enthusiastic, and keep running the picture over and over again. Your present beliefs are formed by thought plus feeling, so if you put enough emotion into your new thoughts, they'll automatically cancel out the old thoughts through dominance. New thoughts programmed with repetition and imagery become dominant thoughts. Dominant thoughts and beliefs control our behavior. Each one of us has proven that this works. When you worry about something, you picture the negative future outcome vividly in your imagination. You play it over and over again. You are not using any effort or willpower. You just keep talking about and picturing the end result. Whatever you are picturing has not happened yet, but you keep forming the picture and the imagery of it happening. The fact that you have accepted that the negative outcome is possible and you have constantly been replaying the picture and thinking of it as an already established fact makes the image appear more and more real. After a period of time, you automatically generate the emotions that conform to the image. We begin to experience fear, anxiety, discouragement, tension, and depression. All of this turmoil was created out of an imagined experience. It's worth repeating that worry provides no known benefit and cannot change what will happen tomorrow. But it can weaken your faith, cripple your actions, and destroy your inner peace of mind and make you all feel powerless. So if you like keep programming like good and like dominant beliefs, positive ones, and like that'll automatically cancel out the old ones. So if you like focus on like not positive, then like and it's just through an imaginary image and you'll get like like fear, anxiety, depression, and like tension all because of like an imagined experience. And so apartment prescription is a book about how my mom went from being a doctor to buying apartments. And it goes over how she found those apartments, how she bought them, and how she paid for them. And it is on Amazon. And it goes over some of her mistakes, what she learned. And the, so you can buy this book on Amazon for someone else as a gift, like for Christmas. Or you can buy it for yourself. And yeah. Okay, I hope like that. If it is, like and subscribe. Bye!